You know, I'm just having a look on the Apple website at the accessories for iPhone and they've got their Pro silicone case and it's £49 for an iPhone case. And I'm thinking to myself, who on earth buys these things? Hello, Pete. Oh, hi, yeah. How are you doing? All right. That's a, a nice case you've got on your phone. Which case is that? Oh, uh, this is the Apple case. I think it was £49.95. Excellent. Uh, I, on my phone, Pete, have gone with uh, a case from Toraz, and I bought this with, with my own money, but um, since then they have actually sent me a selection of cases to have a look at. Mm -hmm. And I wondered whether you might like to have a quick look at the, the larger one. Now, I do remember you saying when your Apple silicone case was new, it was quite um, slippy. It was like a bar of soap. Like grasping a greased weasel. I do not. I used to do that. It's a thing we do in the West Country. Now, this is slightly different to the case that I've got on my phone. The one I bought is the Ultra Slim case, which I really like because, as you can see, Pete, it is indeed very slim. Like your good self. Thank you. Uh, but this particular case that they've sent over, this is the uh, U-Pro case. And you'll notice it's got a, a built-in stand as well as a MagSafe ring. So let's uh, pop this one on. So I've got a black one. They've actually sent me two here. So let me just see what other colour I've got. OK, and then I've also got uh, a different design here. That's quite, a, quite an interesting design. So that's a clear one. Let me get this one on my phone. What do you think of that, Pete? I really like the, the feel of it. It's got a much more sort of tactile and grippy feel. One of the things I do like about the, the silicone case is that it, it does clean up quite well. Sometimes I found with the more tactile cases that over time they tend to sort of show a bit of wear, but it does feel nice in the hand. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Look, that comes out so I can... Now, I did have a case like this before. Funnily enough, I think you gave it to me. And I, I tell you what, that does, that is quite useful having that there. I quite like that design. Let me move this look out of the way. I quite like the design of this, um, the ring, because it's, it's quite discreet. You know, so I'm, I'm really happy with this case. This one's going to stay on my phone for a bit. I think they're, you know, it's a nice premium feel and I love this kickstand. Ooh, shut the front door. Have a look at this. It rotates. Yeah, so look. Could have it landscape as well as portraitage. That's amazing. Yeah, so it just rotates to whatever. That's really useful. I really like these buttons. So you can basically change the buttons on the case to match your your aesthetic preferences. Oh, so you've got a sort of copper colour and a green colour. Yeah. Can I can I have a have a play? Yeah, that feels that feels really nice and. Uh, doesn't feel like I'm going to drop your phone either. But as you know, Pete, I, I don't tend to drop phones anyway. You don't drop your phone. You drop my phone. Well, that doesn't count. She speaks the truth, though. I think the only other thing I would say about this is the reason I went for the clear case um, is it shows off the titanium of my phone. Um, and I, I like that. But having said that, you know, can I keep this? Yeah, of course. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I really, I really like it. I'll, um, I'll give you some feedback. And you can, of course, get it in a clear finish. Well, this one's a bit too small, isn't it? This is for, for this size phone. Although I don't see any buttons included with that one, so there's obviously a, a couple of differences. But we'll put up the prices on the screen for these different things. I'm pretty sure, though, from memory, you're looking at about half the price of the Apple cases. Really? Now, you can go on eBay or Amazon and you can get some very cheap phone cases. So. By those standards, these are actually more premium and more expensive. Um, but when I've bought Taurus cases before with my own money, I've always found them to be good. I've never been disappointed. And I have to say, the quality seems very good. Let's see what you think of that one, Pete. Oh, yeah, I like the smoky, smoky finish on that. And that's a little kickstand, isn't it? That's useful. It is a bit more chunky than the, the, than the slim case. And when they're too chunky, the slight problem you get then is when you're trying to slide down from the top to get to your notifications, that can be an Ooh, issue. But actually, it's all right on this. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. So premium cases, but there's something else I just want to mention. I don't know whether this is a genuine thing or not, but on the packaging, Pete, notice what it says? Carbon neutral. Is it on that? Oh, yeah, it says it on this one as well. Look. And I've seen that before on the... The other case I've bought, and also I've got their premium screen protector. 
which I have to say is brilliant. It comes with an applicator that gets you a perfect fit every time. So um, there you go. Yeah, I think they're really nice. It feels really premium. I love the built-in kickstand. Mm, yeah, that's a nice feature. And I guess we should just do the disclaimer. Torres sent these over without any charge, but uh, they don't get to see this video or make any changes before we publish it. So we just give you our honest opinion. And this is the first time I've actually looked at these cases. So there you go. You don't have to pay the Apple tax. You can get yourself a really good quality case and I uh, can definitely recommend these. And we'll put some links in the description. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, support the channel by maybe hitting that subscribe button. We'll see you again soon for some more Geekly. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Yeah. <laughs>